This is the package right here. Comes with everything you need except the instructions, but that's okay because that's what I'm here for. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode I'm going to give you a quick and dirty demo on how I installed this Collins coping foot on my DeWalt jigsaw. This blowout piece right here, that's from using a really shitty blade, but all in all, it's not perfect, but it's also not terrible. And remember, it's going behind a toilet, so my give a frig factor is at like a zero out of 10. So true story, I actually bought this coping foot on Black Friday of last year, but I've been too afraid to remove the plate that comes with the saw. I just didn't want to screw things up. And I figured this job would be the best place to try it out because there's a ton of opportunities for coping. So after I removed the plate that came with this, it's really not that difficult. The hardest part is trying to get inside this little spot right here and hold the nut in place while you put that bolt in from the bottom. This is the jigsaw, what it looks like with the factory plate that I was talking about. And it does a great job. It has this little arm right here that unlocks it and locks it. And when you open it up, you're able to sleeve this up and then you can tilt it to whatever degree that you want. But when you're doing a lot of copes, you have to constantly unlock this and then flip it and go back and forth, which is kind of time consuming. So that's why I wanted to add the Collins foot to it. To add the coping foot, first you gotta take the blade out by opening up this lock and the blade will just pop right out of there like that. And then the next thing you gotta do is take out these two bolts right here, which you need an Allen key for, but I find it faster to use a T25 hex bit. And you just pop that in there. Take the first one out. I should note that it's probably best, if you're gonna take this off for the first time, I highly recommend that you take a picture of what this looks like just so that you can reference it if you ever want to put it back together. Once you take that off, the whole thing's gonna come apart. So just be careful that you don't lose any pieces. And that's it, right there. Now there's this guy. So, when you open it up, this is everything that it gives you, the foot, You've got two shims, two sets of these bolts, and then a couple other things that I don't really know what you need them for. A nut, and then a washer. My setup for this DeWalt DCS335, I'm just gonna use the longest bolt that it comes with, the thinnest shim that it comes with, the washer, the nut, and then obviously the foot. Well... And boom, there you go. I should note it doesn't hurt to like stick something in there and push and apply pressure while you tighten this bolt down because 
you want that to be nice and secure whenever you're working with a blade, obviously. But yeah, that's it. And that, my friends, is gonna do it for this week's episode. So if you learned something new, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I love you all equally, and I'll see you when I see you. Whose idea was it to smack the camera with my hat? Look at my hair. Look at my, look at my hair right now. Actually. I should just grow it out. <laughs>